there's a difference between bandits in one hand and and the type of uh, uh, the bandits are not asking for self determination. They're not asking for it in their own country. They are simple criminals. They steal, they cross cattle, they rape, but they have never gone anywhere to see this is the flag of our country. They don't want flags. They don't want any flag. They, 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 they have never said that they don't want to be part of Nigeria. As opposed to IPO, that says that the independent people of Biafra, that Biafra is, is beginning to be recognized as a sovereign state within Nigeria. So, so I'm not surprised that they are now attacking the civil society. There's always no problem that doesn't have a solution. Do you think there is a way out of this outside the stick? Whether the carrots can be an option? Well, I don't think uh, the federal government has, uh, over time, ruled out, uh, you know, uh, non kinetic uh, approach. But there are some things that are basic. Look, number one, there is no basis for negotiating for the sovereignty of any part of Nigeria, a part outside what it is today. Now, every other thing after that can be negotiated. But the sovereignty of Nigeria is not negotiable. That's the position of the federal government. Now, uh, let's still come to the central part uh, of this country. At the point the Senate had a resolution, they passed a resolution and said, Minister President, declare these bandits, handle them like terrorists, of which they are in their own judgment. Some people expected that the President would have made some pronouncements in his national broadcast on this. So, in your own now, thinking, as thinking and speaking for government, what do you think transpired? Let me ask you a question. How is federal government treating bandits now? And how do we want them to treat bandits? The military is taking the war right into the hiders of the bandits. Every day we hear how many bandits have been neutralized. I am not aware that there is a special grade of ammunition for bandits and different one. For terrorists. Why are we bothering with nomenclature? Why are we, you know, not facing what real issues are? We are dealing with a bunch of criminals that have no respect for human lives. Whether it is the IPOC that kills policemen or the bandit that kills innocent people or the Boko Haram that is misled by his, you know, ideology. They are all criminals. And when the Air Force or the military, when they go to bomb hideout, they don't say, wait a minute, this one is for bandit, let's, let's, uh, let's overfly it. So what are we talking about? I'm not aware that the military is uh, 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 making any uh, distinction between bandits, terrorists, and criminals. No! If you are found in the wrong place, the military will not ask what to ask you, what are you doing there? So if you are a terrorist or a bandit and you are found in the wrong place, you are found in the hideout, they are going to be smoked out. Now, honestly, this is my position. That uh, uh, it's a very tricky situation. To me, a criminal is somebody who has committed a crime. Uh, finally, sir, in terms of control and more of small uh, weapons and uh, light weapons, what indeed should the government be doing? It looks like it's easily accessible. Yes. So what should the authorities be doing to checkmate all of this? The government is doing a lot. But let's ask our people, are they doing enough? Some women were paraded three or four days ago. 
they were caught transporting arms and ammunition to to Paris. You, you see that we only say government, government. What are we doing? The baker who is taking bread to the forest to give to bandits. Do you not aid and abetting bandit? For the women that put guns inside sack of potato, inside sack of garlic, to deliver to people. So yes, I do. The government has all kind of programs helping their borders. One of the reasons why this uh, border issue is because we want to slow down. We seem to open our borders for months now. We want to slow down the inflow of light arms. But what about what our people do? What are we doing? This is not just about government. It's about the people. We must take ownership of our country. But some people see banditry as an economy. They don't ask themselves what they are doing is wrong. A woman that takes, you know, arms and militia and delivers it elsewhere. What does she think she do? Let's also ask ourselves, what are we doing to help?